Okay, today we're gonna do just our eyes. Um, I had a request from my amazing hairstylist, Tunda. She didn't do my hair today, I did, it's a little weird. I used this um, new device I got on Amazon, which would be great if I had short hair, um, but I don't, I have really long hair, and so it didn't work out quite the way I needed it to do, so I've got a little bit of wild um, waves right now. Just fine, okay. I started with Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer. Um, it's a good one. If you want one that's a little bit cheaper, um, the NYX has one. You can get that at like CVS and stuff. The palette I'm using is Dream Big. Um, it has a wide variety. Well, it has six, but it has a variety of um, eight um, <laughs> browns and pinks. And I'm going to go pink. Uh, because uh, monochromatic pink is having a moment. So that's what I'm going to do. But you can do this with any um, three shades that sort of graduate up. So I'm going to start with this um, creamy one, which is generally what I always start with. And I'm taking a kind of biggish flat brush by Smashbox and putting that all over my eyes. All right. Um, next, we're going to go for, I'm going to choose, uh, this is it, which is a kind of rosy pink. I'm going to put that on the lid. Got a little too much product. I'm going to wipe it off on my makeup eraser I have sitting over here. And blend it in and tap off the excess. All right, now, all right. The great news is on my phone. The great news is on your phone, okay. <laughs> See, oh, okay. Um, yep, there's my kid, her retainers are, she doesn't have to wear her retainers as much today, so. Okay, uh, okay, okay, thanks, thanks. All right, I'm looking here for an angled brush. I thought I got everything out, but I didn't. Okay, angled brush. It's okay if you don't have one. I am hitting this with All In, which is the next sort of darker shade, and it's going in my corner of my eye. Um, this isn't a particularly dark shade. You can go, depending on how smoky you want to go, but I kind of wanted to show you that you can get dimension uh, without really dark colors. All right, so it's in the corner, and now we're going to take it along the crease, and don't worry if it looks a little... We are now, we're gonna blend, 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 and it's gonna look great. All right, so. Okay, um, so my the blending brush that I'm gonna use is just sort of a, a looser brush, and I'm gonna blend it in the corner. But if you don't have a blending brush, you could do this with your larger flat brush. Okay, so now we're creating dimension. Okay, we're gonna come in and I'm gonna use my smaller flat brush with this little bit of this darker color which is happening. And I'm just gonna give it a tiny bit in the edge and I'm just gonna sort of dab it around. You can see it's just, see the difference is just a little bit of a darker. Oh, sorry, there goes the bathroom heater. I always think I'm going to turn it off, and then I never do. I love the skylights in my bathroom, but they cause um, it to be cold in the short of so I'm just like tapping off any excess powder that's around. Um, generally speaking, I do my eyes first and then everything else, but that's it. Okay, this is a L'Oreal Infallible. It's pretty cheap, and it's like $10.00. Uh, eye pencil. I'm not going to do my whole eyes. I know I'm well known for my wing, but I'm gonna just go about halfway um, on both sides. And then I'll show you why this brush is really, or this eyeliner is cool. Can you hear anything I'm saying? <laughs> okay. It has this funny little end to it and it always pops off when you pull it out and then you stick it back in. See this? It's a smudge. It's a smudger. So we're going to take it and we're going to 
blend this brown in till it is on the outer edges. Oh, we can pull, drag it further with this brush. You see, that's just adding a little more dimension. I'm also gonna do my waterline here. Okay, I'm turn my little mirror up. Just a tad bit, not gonna go all the way. Oh, I missed on this side. Wipe it down, put it in where it belongs. Okay, so now we have a little bit more dimension. And we're gonna finish it with um, my favorite mascara, Lashcraft by Sephora. Okay, you want a bolder, if you want a you know, less bold look, just do your old fashioned swipe, swipe. But I'm gonna go for a little more definition. So I'm going, sort of pulling them away, each individual sort of clumps of lashes away from my face with my mascara. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm gonna do my brows. Anastasia, Beverly Hills, just a brow gel. It's um, a color It's very similar to my own. We're just defining them a little bit, giving them structure more than we are anything else. Um, and this side's a little short, so I'm pulling it out with a little bit of color. Not too much, there we go. Now they look kind of even. Uh, all right, now we're coming back in again. All right, so this took about seven minutes, but I talked. So, but let's say that you're not used to this. Seven minutes to do this, and then um, I'm not wearing a lot of other makeup, and I'm gonna put on my blush and my lipstick and. You can get it done in 10, 12 minutes. Like, that's what I, the complaint I hear from a lot of my friends is it just takes too long. I'm not gonna spend that much time. All right, see how we're getting a lot more. There we go. Alrighty, bye.